the speed, the distance. I always find that fascinating with Bud. The things with his feet, using his jab and spurt. He's 54. Now the switch in stance. Side range with that jab while he's stalking. Jab with Benavides. He's going to have to out jab. Top with that now southpaw right jab as he comes in with a straight left to the body. Here and then back to Crawford and Benavides. But Benavides, he got Crawford tentative to fire the left hand. Mentally, get him to make mistakes. There he is. And there he goes again. It was a total concentration. He did 36 minutes and figure it out in there. It was Miss Trevor. It was an interesting. Good exchange. Oh. I'm taking with Benavidez confidence. He's never been this good. And you can tell he believed Terrence Crawford ducked him. I don't have any evidence of that. But in boxing, the imagined slice are usually more important. Jeff going from there. There's another body shot. Chance. There, Terrence Crawford. Come off with Jeff and, and shoot a straight. And Benavidez, like I said, is a great counter punch, and he has a good right hand. Double time does Crawford. There he works his way to the inside. And then put it in. Of Benavidez. Much success going to the body in this round. Taking control here. Stop. One of the best pound for pound fighter in the world. That's Terrence from Crawford. Trained by Brian McIntyre. It does go behind that double jab because Benavides Benavides a catch up closer to him. So, 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 so power Benavides. No, he ain't no power. He ain't got no power. A little taste of that power stuck out his tongue. Coming straight down the middle. On the way in with the right hand. For that right hand. <laughs> Trying to go to the body there. Put it with southpaw with Benavides. Okay. Oh, good right hand. Benavides right on the belt line. Where it said the round was good for Crawford. Fourth round, what? Beautiful. You know, he's making mess. You know, he got to go to punch it. Look, he's getting hit. Look at that. You know, he, he's catching him with those straight right hands. Look, look at that. How can you turn it around? Look. Like following him, you know, so hopefully he can keep like that. I think. Reacts. They very much knew what they were getting themselves. Into. Power taking by Jose. And that right hand was a decisive blow in the previous round. The right hand to the body. Right hand to the body again. That time he caught Benavidez. Crawford should pick up his feet. And, and confuse Benavidez. Agatha who sits number one. A tip lower at 38%. This is more than most people imagine from Jose. Just pause and think about that for a moment. But he'll wait on you and he'll fire some combinations back at you. As a fighter, it was based on those spawns, except for when he was a kid. There, as Buzz came in and then the right hand came in at a downward angle. Good exchange. Great right, right, right hand. And also, like the champ, Crawford on the way out. Crawford had a tendency. Right now, controlling the outside. That's why he's able to land these shots. Getting outside of the left foot of Benavidez. And that gives him. I think the great place. He came in. See that one jab. Now Benavidez is. Is this the start of where Crawford? I'll tell you what I do see from the facial expressions between rounds. I don't see the same real, the same confidence Benavides that I did earlier in the fight. Covering up like that doesn't work out. You see the fundamentals as Crawford. Copy box number, total punches outlanding him 93 to 60. Fatigue. Noticeable how it's changed. You know who else? No. Trying to put that right hand. Off the hip. Crawford comes in. Left hand, right to the body. In answer to Joe's question, is that right hand coming? Reward. More than even six rounds. 
We're still playing for about 78, 74. Land some combinations up top like that. Right hook range. Got out of range right there. He made the point score. That jab looks good. I believe it's the knee. Nice shot. Nobody gets shot right above the knee. Actually, it was a cat, too. It was an exotic $10,000 cat at midnight in Phoenix. Someone targeted him, and he knows. He's got the right hand. You see that Bud Crawford said, Bud, can you hear me? He looked over, he said, last round, finish this. Not really using his jab. I want to doing so. Let's see what Benavidez comes up with here. And Crawford looks to all Crawford needs to do. He needs to stay close. Work the knee. Block the counter. Benavidez with an offensive output. Crawford comes right back. Short left hook for Benavidez. Benavidez here in round number 10. And Crawford for Crawford to hold on in six minutes for Benavidez. Crawford comes into this round having led it. It's better to beat his chin in the heart. Chin in the heart. Combinations fly. You can't work for that. Offense, and they provide elite defense. Being at a goal for growth. From the undefeated challenger as Crawford brings it in. He's trying to counter punch everything he does. So what he's doing? He's sweeping with it by Terry Strong. There it is again. Sand is easily in control. And he's got two and a half minutes. How much does Benavidez want? Well, if he won it now, got a good scare throw. Right to the bottom for it. And he head and body. But where is that body shot we saw than Benavidez? Miles ahead. Fight highly competitive. It's not how we want to stand this fight out. Then he follows up and finishes him with a 